What's up guys, this is Beant and welcome to another video where I walk you through a brand new feature that is available in the dashboard. All right, so first you go into automations, then press the blue button that says create workflow. What exactly is this feature? Well, workflow AI is here in the automations section as well. And now you can just type in what do you want the workflow AI to do and it'll create the automation for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Um, in this example, I'm gonna type in something along the lines of build me an automation sequence to send out emails to uh, new customers or new leads that come in to the platform. All right, so let's do that. So in this simple example I've written out, I want to send out an email once per day to new customers or leads, to new customers or leads, introduce our brand and why they should work with us. That is it, that's all I'm saying. I can definitely go in and add in things like add a tag um, and or uh, conditional logic. I can even have it uh, write an email uh, for me if I wanted to. I can describe how many emails. That's one thing I didn't do, so um, that may trigger an error uh, for me, uh, but uh, let's see what it does. All right, there you go. So it since I didn't describe how many emails, it just gave me one email. If I did say something along the lines of 10 emails, then it would have uh, done that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first. Uh, a new trigger has been created and an email is being sent out. Um, and it's since we didn't talk about what the brand is or anything of that nature, it even wrote out an email. Uh, but if we described what our company does, what the brand is about, then it would have wrote out an email appropriate to that. Let's start over one more time. And this time, let's go ahead and tell it exactly what uh, we wanted to do, how many emails we want to do, tag where we need to add one and what the email content should be about. All right, so this time I've uh, given the prompt and um, I've basically right now that I want to send out a series of seven emails, one per day to new customers or leads and add a tag at the start, starting nurture sequence and add a tag at the ending, nurture sequence completed. Then I've described who we are, what we do, and what I want the email content to be about. We're a security camera installation and service company. I want to educate uh, people on why they should do, why they should buy from us versus Amazon or Costco. So instead of the DIY, why the professional system? And I gave it a few reasons why that should be the case. So now let's go ahead and uh, click on um, uh, the, the workflow to be built and let's see what it does. It takes a few seconds for it to process the request and then complete the uh, workflow build, but it saves a lot of time instead of having to manually go through, think about what you need to do and how to build that workflow, you can simply describe it in this workflow AI, making it extremely easy for you to have the workflow built out. It, you don't need to search for actions or triggers. The system automatically picks up which actions are correct and which actions need to go in place and at what intervals, uh, which one comes first, which one comes after, so on and so forth. And it does all of that for you. Saves you a lot of time instead of having to do it manually. So let's go ahead and inspect this workflow and see what that looks like. All right, so the trigger is starting when the contact is created. Uh, which means a brand new lead uh, that came in. It's adding the starting nurture sequence uh, tag. It created that tag automatically as well. That tag did not exist in here. Um, and notice it's also labeling each one of the actions so that it's easy for us to understand, keeping it very nice, neat, and organized there. So send the day one email, professional installation. So it's talking about why professional installation for security camera systems matter, and it's going through explaining that uh, the content, uh, 
the content of the email is talking about that. Notice all I did was provided a very little bit of information and it completed that email for me based off of that. Obviously, I can modify the email if I don't like something about it. I can use the ask uh, the right with AI uh, function here to select a different tone um, and describe it a little bit more of what I want and then generate that <clears throat> generate that email and then have it inserted automatically into uh, that particular email. Here's day two. Day two is about experience, superior support and service with us. And then the wait times in between. Notice it's uh, it's got a one day wait time because that's what we said once per day, right? So it picked up uh, the wait time being uh, one day. And then it continues on writing all the different emails until the seven series is completed. Uh, the email of uh, the seven different emails are completed and then it's ending it with the add nurture tag uh, of nurture sequence completed as well. So there you go. All I need to do is just confirm everything is correct, add in anything if I want to, and that is it. Now we have the entire nurture sequence built in here and I can confirm the settings, then publish and save, and I am done. That That's all it takes to build the workflow from there. Also, another thing I wanted to talk to you about is this workflow AI um, uh, pop-up bar that's open here on the left side. Notice it's described everything it's done and what I wanted, uh, the more my prompt was, what I wanted for it to write in there. I can continue to chat back and forth if I want to um, make my workflow better. I can ask it to, hey, recommend what, what other things I should do, what other actions I should add, if there's any conditional logic I should add, and it'll help me do all of that. It'll tell me exactly what actions to take so that I can go ahead and add in those actions and follow the instructions to further enhance the workflow should I want to do that. There you go, folks. Workflow AI is here within the platform, and now you can use it on day to day to making and building your workflows so much easier and faster with less mistakes on building these workflows. I hope you enjoy. Check it out. If you're ready to check it out, just go to automations, then create a new workflow from scratch and use the, the top bubble when it appears to start creating a new workflow. All right, that's all for this one. I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.